So thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed it, if you felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So Box and Scene are reporting Bob Aaron basically is trying to make Manny Pacquiao versus Terence Crawford for November the 12th or the 21st. He said he's had discussions with potential investors who may pay significant side fees to stage this fight in their country, but nothing concrete yet. Manny Pacquiao, Terence Crawford. How many years have we been hearing about this fight? I mean, I'm remembering and hearing about this fight in 2015. We're hearing about Crawford versus Pacquiao. We were hearing about Crawford versus Pacquiao after Pacquiao fought Bradley for the third time. That was 2016. And Manny Pacquiao goes and joins Al Heyman, what, at the end of 2018 or the middle of 2018 or something like that. What's he doing now? You know, he beat Keith Thurman. Great win. Great win, you know, great win for, and people will say, well, Thurman's not, Thurman's still a lot younger than Manny Pacquiao, he's still a world champion, Manny Pacquiao went in there and did the job on him, um, Manny Pacquiao's 40, he'll be 41 now, so Manny Pacquiao, the ageless warrior, as they say, you know, um, look, would he work with Bob Arum again? I'm sure he would, I'm sure Manny Pacquiao wants to be paid, I'm sure Terence Crawford definitely wants to be paid, investors in other countries you would imagine they'd be countries like probably saudi arabia you know what was it macau is that where bob aram has staged a couple of manny pacquiao's fights in the past macau china um you would imagine that there's some investors in there out there who want who would pay big money for this fight i'm sure terence croft terence croft has already said it he doesn't want to take a pay cut you know so going in there against manny pacquiao in you know probably the, the, the biggest fight of your career you know the best name on your resume by far if, if, if the fight happens, um, and I say best name of the resume, because I'll be picking Terence Crawford to win that fight if it happens. Um, you'll get, obviously, a career-high payday as well. So Terence Crawford, I'm sure, will be, be dying for that fight. I mean, Terence Crawford wanted that fight, as I said, five years ago. And that was a younger Manny Pacquiao back then. So you know, now we've got a 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao. And yes, he beat Keith Urban. Yes, he's looked, you know, good, you know, in his last couple of fights. But this is still a 40, 41-year-old man. He's not, in his, he's not in his prime anymore. Some might say Crawford maybe will... You might start to see a decline now because he's getting up there a little bit. But still, Crawford's a lot closer to his prime than Manny Pacquiao is. A lot closer. So I'd be definitely taking Terence Crawford in that fight. Bob Arum is saying all these things, but at the end of the day, we need to know... We need to kind of hear from Manny Pacquiao because last we checked, he was with Al Heyman. He may still be with Al Heyman. We don't know. We know Pacquiao kind of does his own little promotion on the side. But it's... It's just, what what's he going to do? And, and can he travel to the US? You know, can he go from the Philippines to the US? I don't know. I don't know what the restrictions are like there. Um, so with Manny Pacquiao, Terence Crawford, I'd like, I, well, I wouldn't mind seeing it. You know, I, I'd certainly watch it. As I said, I'd be making Crawford favourite, but I'd still watch it. But um, is it just talk from Bob Arum? You know, is he just trying to, you know, big himself up and try and make, you know, a big fight? Because... You know, as we all know, Bob Arum and Al Heyman don't actually see eye to eye. And Al Heyman last week, he made a power move in boxing. You know, he announced fights left, right and centre. Good fights too. All good fights. So maybe Bob Arum is looking at it thinking, I need to I need to do something like that. I can't have, keep having these, you know, two cards a week where your one guy is fighting, you know, Mick down the road. I need to do something. I need to get my name out there. I need to get a big fight. So who knows? Maybe, maybe he's serious. I don't know. But... Again, we've heard it before in the past about this fight. Will it happen now? As I said, for the right price, maybe, but I doubt it. You know, I doubt it. And if it did, I'd be making Terence Crawford firm favourite. So, yeah, you know, those are my thoughts on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Who would you take in this fight? And again, would you want to see this fight? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Of course, if you are new to the channel, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I go, people, thank you for dropping by the channel. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video um, that you just saw. Remember, please like and share. It really, really helps me out. I do have Patreon as well. You can go over there. There's some podcasts up now. Go and have a listen. If you like it, all well and good. Thanks, Emil, for all the support, people. I will talk to you.